everyone welcome back to controlled recoil today I'm out on some uh, public land looking for a late stag and um, might see a chamois or a pig but yeah basically just having a look around and enjoying the place it's an awesome spot up here a lot of people will recognize it's pretty well known and uh, we're right here on prime time the sun's just coming up and it is gorgeous so, we'll go see what action we can find. Fishing on. Get down and cover some ground and um, find a nice vantage point to perch up and uh, do some glassing. start glassing these uh, these areas that have the sun on them first thing being winter those deer and chamois and things like that will be out on those faces trying to soak up a bit of heat it's also where the uh, where the tucker will be a bit sweeter still you can see down in some of these gullies, there's already quite a bit of frost down in there. There'll be no growth in there now for the rest of the winter. So, putting eyes on where that food is maximises your chances of seeing that animal. Man, he is a big goat. Certainly no shortage of them around. So there's a really, really good sized billy goat over here that I'm going to take a shot at. It's at 577 yards. The shooting angle is negative 2 degrees. It's next to no breeze, but I'm going to say one mile. So we're looking at 10.38 MOA. So I'm going to do 10 and a quarter and aim slightly high on the shoulder. Wait for a good shot on him. Wait for him to settle down and graze broadside again. He's a really good sized animal. I've seen about 40 of them in the first hour, so there's a bit of control needed. He's the, uh, the only one in range that I've spotted so far, so take him out and see if we can't knock a couple more down. I'm really happy with that, that was a clean, clean shot. Beautiful. Well, I'm super happy about that. That's a dead cold barrel, first shot in the area, and um, the wind's obviously nearly non-existent, so that makes things really simple. Um, so yeah, there was a slight breeze coming this way, basically cancelled out the spin drift, um, so just hold right on for wind, and um, 
obviously nice and broadside and point of the shoulder just done so super happy and um, yeah we've seen about I don't know what is it I've seen 40 in the first hour 40 goats up here so time to do a bit of control forget the deer and um, yeah just get a few of these on the deck and uh, hopefully we'll get some nannies as well they all seem to be billies at the moment but he was one of the bigger ones he's a he's a really solid animal so we'll go over and check him out anyway and uh, yeah Don't go down there. Fresh mountain water. Can't beat it. So I shot that goat just up in here. So we should be able to find him shortly. And uh, just soaking it up. Soaking up the scenery. It is a brilliant day. Man, we are just so lucky living here. So much hunting opportunity, so much country that we're lucky to know have you know been public. So get out here and enjoy it, eh? Right, I'm going to fill up my water bottle because this is the best water you can get, and then um, we'll retrieve this goat. Actually, I might retrieve the goat first in case it's lying in the creek up here, and we'll get that out of there if it is, and we'll. Uh, yeah, go from there. Well, there you have it. There he is. He's a big boy. Good sized body on him. And uh, that's the shot there. So, you got him standing like this. Shot's right there. And that's right, right where your neck comes in and joins the point of the shoulder. Point of the shoulder's about there. That area there and it just puts things down straight away um, that would have got twin lung basically both lungs and um, both sides of the lung and uh, it just gives you that instant instant drop that you need because you, you, you're shocking the whole spinal column that comes down the neck and then goes into the body so you get that get that shock going to the spine as well and it just shuts everything down and uh, we'll head up around the corner and see what else we can get onto but yeah I'll deal with this get it away from the creek and um, yeah, finish up here and carry on it became apparent that uh, there was actually a lot of activity happening in this gully and uh, it looked like there might have even been an exercise on or something as uh, this guy had been up and down the gully a fair amount and uh, I kind of figured that it would probably, uh, probably ruin my chances of uh, seeing any deer um, but I was really happy, it had been a great morning and a good look around and uh, yeah everyone's got a job to do so that's the way it goes sometimes I thought I'd uh, leave them to it and uh, yeah start making my way out. Oh well, that's me heading out now. The, uh, I think the helicopter's probably uh, scared the best of it off. That's alright. Um, that's the way it goes. That's the way things happen. But um, yeah, I'm happy as. There was a nice quick hunt. Great shot at, at 577. So everything's working good. Keeps the confidence up. And uh, yeah. Bit of goat control, there's a few more there. I didn't get on video, knocked a couple of them over. Um, so yeah, it was good.
good to get a few down, but yeah, on the way out now, so day's starting to heat up. And uh, yeah, we might see something on the way back, but that's pretty much it, I think, for the hunting, so we'll catch you on the next one. Have a good one.